Sports Wisconsin reporter Sean Davis here with Quinn Keen um, from Wanakee South Small South Large All Star Team. Um, and I've just got five questions for you. Um, first off, you're coming to UW Oshkosh. What was kind of the reasoning behind choosing Oshkosh out of all the other schools that we're looking at? You? I mean, a lot of schools, you know, the, the highest mother offers bigger schools, stuff like that. But they uh, they showed that they really wanted me to come here, and I got here and. My, uh, my dad came here for a couple of years and my cousin did, so I knew the campus pretty well and it just felt like at home, so that's why I decided to come here. Who, who was kind of the, the, was there anybody that really stood out as a, a joker on your high school team uh, at Wanakee that would always kind of get the guys riled up a little bit? Um, it was typically like me, Andrew Keller, I mean, Jackson Meadows, we were all kind of screwed around a lot. We, we had a fun team for sure, so I mean, when we got a chance to screw around a little bit in those big games, we definitely took that opportunity. <laughs> Take me through your pregame and postgame routine. Is there anything specific that you try to do whenever you're getting ready for a big game? Uh, pregame, I like to keep it kind of chill. I don't really listen to music. I just kind of talk to my guys and about like whatever, keep my mind off of it. So, I mean, I'm not one of those guys that's like head down in the corner listening to music. I kind of just like talking to people and staying kind of mellow. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to most about UW Oshkosh? Obviously, they have a new head coach coming in and Coach Jennings. Uh, is, is he part of the reason why you chose here too? Uh, he, I, I committed here before he We're came here, but uh, and claw. I, had, <laughs> and claw. I had talked to him uh, before he got here, and I, I enjoyed him well, and I mean, I, a lot of the offensive guys stayed at the time, but I mean, I didn't see much of a turnover, and they kind of had the same philosophy. I wanted to, to, you know, win a national championship and compete for one, so, I mean, it wasn't much different than uh, Coach Renee leaving. I mean, I would love to work with him, but he had a better opportunity at Seaman's Point, point. he took it, so I was I was flattered, for, happy for him, and I was ready to come in here and compete. Yeah. What, pe lastly, what piece of advice would you give to um, high school athletes and just kind of future future Wanakee Warriors. Just work hard. I mean, we didn't get it easy. It wasn't easy for us. I mean, those two playoff games are hard. Those, you know, those winter lifts were hard in the off season. Those summer lifts were hard. So, I mean, we started early in middle school and we kept working up and we just focused on that dream. And I mean, nothing comes easy. I mean, success doesn't happen for no reason when I mean, you earn it. So that's all I got. Okay.